When I came in this shit, I might earn my special like Tabula, bitch. bitch. Straight up the rip on my layers on drip. Alright, what's up, y'all? Got another video here today. This one, I'm looking at a uh, the Playmaking Shot Creator build. You know, I call it a little bit of Steph Curry, Allen Iverson. This is what I personally use for my. Uh, this is the only build I'll be making this year that I'll be using because, you know, I don't want to make like 50 builds and then new gen come out, I gotta make 50 more. But I'm telling you right here, see, I'm a Pro Am guy, so I play a little bit of Park, so I'm speaking mostly on behalf of Pro Am. This right here is easily the best Pro Am point guard in the game, and it's definitely very good for Park as well, as long as you know you can time a jumper this year. And, you know, once you, it really is, uh, once you get those badges, it really does help. Uh, you can just pause this at any time once I get uh, all these filled out. But yeah, this gets uh, like 21, yeah, 21 shooting badges and I think 21 playmaking as well. And uh, yeah, it should right there, 21 playmaking. I really don't see another uh, point guard build that can do, you know, the shooting, the playmaking. Some people like going for the, the like where it's mostly green, a little bit of yellow. But I feel like those Hall of Fame playmaking badges definitely, uh, you know, you definitely need those. Uh, for the height, I'll bring it down to 6'2". Uh, you know, a little bit of speed increase always helps. You could bring it up. I'm not a big fan of big point guards. I think, you know, being smaller and quicker, you're going to get the 99 speed uh, once you hit, you know, once you get a raid boost and you get your uh, hit 99 overall. So that definitely helps. You'll be a fast student in the court. Wingspan, a lot of people like to go smaller here, but I feel like smaller where wingspan really hampers you. You know, you can't really shoot over contest a lot, and you can't play as good defense. I brought it up two inches here because it brings your ball control down one. Wouldn't recommend going any higher than that, though. It'll start impacting your three ball too much. Uh, takeover. It's between playmaking and shot creating. Uh, you get a lot of choices here. I'll show you playmaking. I'm a team player. Uh, here we go. So here's the build. It's going to say you're Kirk Heinrich. You're not fucking Kirk Heinrich, all right? This is like Steph Curry, Allen Iverson. Uh, even says, you know, Damian Lillard down there. I can see that. Not as good as Duncan. But let's get into the badges. Here for your badges. We got finishing. I chose Acrobat, Gold, and Relentless Finisher, Bronze. If you want to do reverse layups this year, you have to have Acrobat. So that's why I put that. And then Relentless Finisher is for uh, the stamina. And then we go into the shooting badges. Uh, we got Catch and Shoot, Difficult Shots, and Hot Zone Hunter on Gold. Uh, the one badge that really stands out here is the Tireless Shooter. Like I said, stamina is a big thing this year. And if you're going to be playing point guard, you're going to have to watch your stamina. That Tireless Shooter will definitely help. Uh, when it comes to playmaking badges, you can take that dimer and switch with handles for days, or you could take off tight handles and get uh, the five Hall of Fame badges. Like I said, it's my personal layout. Definitely need that bailout on bronze. That's like the most important bronze badge in the game. And then same thing with chase down artist. Very important. Even at six two, I'd be getting chased down blocks in pro am. So that's a very important badge to have. Definitely helps you out. But overall, that's the build. Y'all let me know how you like it. Uh, this is the build I use. I'm having no problems with it. Uh, but other than that, I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm the one. This is vintage from 1980-some. I'm the son of the pioneer that got you near the sun.